welcome back to Education Closet On Demand. I'm Susan Riley, your host and founder of EducationCloset.com. And today we're going to talk about the difference between STEM and STEAM and whether or not we should even try to put the arts in that acronym. So there's a huge conversation going on right now and there's a lot of debate on both sides as to whether or not we should really be putting the A, arts, into the STEM acronym. And by the way, I think we're a little acronym heavy. So let's just clarify what all that means. STEMS is the science, technology, engineering, and math components of our educational um, approach. And STEAM would be adding the arts to that mix. And so there's a lot of validity and in the concern that we're just adding uh, letters to add letters. So do we stop at STEAM? Do we go to STREAM, which is adding reading to that? And if that's the case, aren't we just really teaching all of the content areas that we're supposed to be teaching, right? Um, I, I understand those arguments. I also am a big supporter of STEAM, and I'm going to explain why. Because I think we don't understand what STEM is first. I really think there is a, a misunderstanding about that acronym. And we've got to get down to the base of it. So many people think that STEM was developed just so that our students could have an emphasis on the um, disciplines that were going to give them job opportunities in the 21st century. And that's not really it. Some people think that STEM means the one-to-one -one initiative, that if you have um, a STEM program, you can use that money to get everybody an iPad or get everybody a Chromebook and have technology in their hands. That's not it either. Um, and the reason that I know that that's not it is that um, a while back, I was working for a very large school system, one of the 50 largest in the, the country. And um, I was in a position where um, I needed, I was a curriculum innovation um, specialist. So I was looking at all of the different approaches that have been coming down the pike. And my job was to kind of sift through it all and figure out what's the best teaching practices that we can share with our educators so that they're not so overwhelmed. One of the presentations I was asked to give, I was in my office one day and somebody called and um, said, I need you to give a presentation to my principals on STEM. I had no basis in STEM. I was an arts integration specialist prior to that position, so I needed to go do a lot of research on what STEM is, what it's not, um, and how to provide a really good professional development for these people. And in my research, what I started to find over and over and over again were the, the concepts that you don't teach science, technology, engineering, and math um, in isolation. The whole idea behind STEM is to integrate those content areas together so that students are using math and science at the same time. They're embedding and integrating technology in and through everything that they're doing in lessons that are integrating these content areas. And that's when the huge light bulb went off for me. It's not about the tools that you have. And it's not about advocating to get jobs in those areas. It's about providing students with learning experiences that are, are actually how they learn in the real world. Nothing lives in isolation. You know, I use this example of the time that you don't go outside and say, the sky is blue, that's art, there's a tree, that's science. You go outside and you see the world as a whole and you put it all together. And so the idea of STEM education is that you're providing learning experiences where you're integrating the standards of science and math together or science and engineering together or all four together to create learning um, opportunities for students that make sense. And why that's important is that's exactly what arts integration does. Arts integration, if you go back and look at our first episode of 2015, what is arts integration? It's taking a look at content standards that make a natural connection with an arts discipline standard and combining them and weaving them together into a lesson that teaches both at the same time, which is why STEAM makes sense. Because it is very rare that you're asking students to work on a 
project or on a lesson where there is no creativity or design skill or um, artistic medium that is necessary in order to bring that idea to life. And when we're teaching those skills in arts classes, it makes sense to design lessons that embed those same skills and processes through STEM and the arts. Now, that doesn't mean that every lesson should be a STEAM lesson. Absolutely not. It's um, not feasible and it's also not holding true to the integrity of the arts areas or the STEM content areas. There are lessons that should be distinctly STEM lessons where you're combining two or more standards from different disciplines together in those four disciplines. But when it's natural and possible, it is extremely effective to also integrate the arts. So I'm a big advocate for STEAM. I think it's important to understand the difference between the enhancement piece and the integration piece. And also that we continue to have this conversation about what STEM truly means, what STEAM truly means, what the purpose is behind it. Um, because it concerns me when I hear comments from other educators like this. And truly, I got this one time on Facebook. Um, the, the arts areas are just trying to steal money that is being given to the STEM areas because they want their hands in the pot. And I think it's such a shame that we have that kind of a reaction um, because that truly demonstrates we don't know necessarily what the intention of STEM really is. And if that's what you're, um, if that's what you're holding on to, then STEAM may not make sense for you. So um, I look forward to your conversations on this topic because it's a it's a hot button issue right now, and I'd really like to hear where you're coming from and your opinions. Um, if you would go ahead and comment below, and let's have this conversation a little bit. What's your definition of STEM? Why would you think that STEAM should be um, a component that we're looking at or not? And um, where, where do you see this going in the future? I'd love to hear from you. So comment below and I look forward to seeing you next time here on Education Closet On Demand.